got this actuator right here because in the full runner it has the um, push button for the four wheel drive and I reckon this controls when you shift it in four low and everything else so it's pretty cool Sedona checking it out it says that stinks gear old stinks gear old stinks don't it <laughs> So, cold East Coast today. They should. They said they should have my diff ready um, within 48 hours. I think so. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna ask them. Do I need to keep these lines, or if they're gonna give me lines? But this is basically what holds you up from pulling the diff off. I do need to take these off. Go about that. These are just 19 mils. Got three on the driver's side and then two on the passenger side. I did go to Walmart and pick up some washer fluid. We got the cheapest one there. I need to just make my own washer fluid. And I also went and picked up some more refrigerant. These are $8 a can compared to Harbor Freight, it's like $12 a can. So they say four bucks on these and I've done blown like $50 on refrigerant. The um, Civic, I drove it today and that was blowing pretty cold because it's hot as balls outside. So the um, Civic felt pretty nice, but I got a lot of air in the systems from hooking it up and taking the gauges off and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to vacuum out the lines and then hold the negative pressure and then dump the Freon in it like that. And this is the Mobile One M1104A for the D16 motors in the Hondas. Cause I gotta do an oil change on the Civic cause the oil's getting pretty dirty. So I'll do that hopefully soon. Probably not today, Sedona, because she's pretty hot out here. You see those eyes? See, I got pretty eyes when my hair's cut. I see them, or oh, I got some eye boogers. Pretty girl, pretty girl. Yeah, I know how I can make her look. Oh yeah, you heard that bag, didn't you? Sydney. Can you see the eyes? Oh yeah. Look at that beautiful girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Alright boys, I found out more problems with the AC on the Tacoma in the Civic. Civic just had a bad relay, but I started messing with the um, high and low side lines. So I just messed up the whole cycle in it. So I've got to put a vacuum on it and then redo the refrigerant, the Tacoma. Um, I noticed that Freon is coming out of the compressor. So something's leaking out of the compressor probably just an o-ring or whatever so i'm gonna look into either replacing the o-rings or i'll probably just go ahead and get a new ac compressor in the tacoma but the thing is is that i don't want anything but probably denso and they're about 20 bucks depending on not 20 bucks 200 bucks depending on which one you get if you get it with the i think it's like the suspension valve in with it or without it I don't know, I haven't done too much research on it yet. But that's where I'm at with the Civic and the Tacoma. And the Forerunner's in the back waiting on its built um, differential in the front. As you can hear, the high straighter valve is leaking. Man, I can't believe the axles that I pulled out of the Forerunner are still the original axles. Well, either they went through Toyota even the boot says Toyota with a D
That's cool. So all I'm gonna do is cut this boot out, slide that sleeve over, and um, I may not replace these because I haven't replaced these on the Tacoma, and they've been doing fine. Normally, you rip the boot this the um the inner side of the axle. So and I should have boots to replace. And then leave this guy up there because that's how you do the boot stretch mod. So this is basically what I mean by the boot stretch mod. So what I did was I took this clamp off that was retaining the previous boot and it had already cut itself around so it just left that there. So I slid that out. This piece here, this gear set just runs off of a little um, C clamp that connects right here so you know you get you some pliers for that pop it off and you slide this gear set out slide that out and then slide the boot over and run it all the way and then what I do is I put this back in here and then I take a zip tie um, it'd probably be better to use a clamp but I just use a zip tie here I haven't had any issues and then run this back up and you gotta pack this full of grease. I've got some grease here, it's not Toyota grease, but I'm going on a, on a limb with that. Um, pack that back with grease, slide it in there, put this on and then clamp it up. I've got some clamps right here that I'm gonna use and then that's basically it. All right, so here's a little setup difference. This is the CV axle that I just replaced the boot with. And then this is the CV axle that needs replacement. So I don't know if you can tell, but this line right here is right here with this. So basically you keep that in there and keep the boot that way then the boot stays to where it doesn't rub these ridge these ribs right here when you you know drive so if you don't have manual locking hubs your cv axle are going to be constantly moving when you drive so this is a really good part of not ending up like this so I'm out here looking at my forerunner and damn that don't look good. Sheesh. Somebody is on fire. Goodness. That's pretty bad. It ain't rained out here in a while either, so whatever that is, it's burning. That's a good sized cloud right there. Yeah, it's pretty close to me too. That's probably about seven miles. Oh my, God. my bad. Shit for nothing. Hey, look, there's the grandpa. I know he's got his truck right by it, too, man. 